This is problem 42 from your text in chapter 11. And we're going to decide which simple gas law to use and solve this problem. We're told that we have a syringe containing 1.55 milliliters of oxygen and it's cooled from 95.3 Celsius down to zero degrees Celsius. And the problem asks for the final volume. So we know that V1 is 1.55 milliliters and the problem may not say the volume is that but we know that a milliliter is a volume and before it's cooled down to zero that volume is at this temperature 95.3 so T1 is 95.3 degrees Celsius T2 I'm going to write over here, T2 is 0 degrees Celsius, and we're asked to solve for the final volume. Okay. Here, any time we have a temperature in a gas law, it's imperative that we put the temperature in degrees Kelvin. I'm going to save that book. And so for us to solve this problem, our T1 needs to be in Kelvin, so we're going to add 273 to this. And we'll have 8, 17, carry the 1. So our temperature is 378. T2 is going to be 273, because 273 plus 0 is still 273. And this, because we have two volumes and two temperatures, we're going to use Charles' law. So Charles' law states that, let me back up here just a little bit. Charles' law gives us the relationship between volume and temperature. So V1 divided by T1 equals V2 divided by T2. Since we're looking for this volume, then we can multiply both sides of the equation by T2. So the opposite of dividing by temperature is multiplying by temperature. So our unknown that we're looking for is being divided by T. So that's why we multiply both sides by T. So V2 is equal to the second temperature times the first volume divided by the first temperature. Here we've just got to make sure that we don't put things in the wrong place. T2 is 273, and that's in Kelvin. Our volume can stay in milliliters, so we are not required to change the volume. So we put V1 right here, and then T1, the 378, goes in the denominator. And again, our Kelvin units are going to cancel. So V2 is going to be in milliliters. And we just do that multiplication there. 273 times 1.55 divided by 378. And when we do that calculation, I'm going to round this to 1.12 milliliters. We'll stick with three significant figures. So 1.12 milliliters would be the final volume. And again, since this is Charles's law, you should be able to check this. Our volume had better change in the same direction that our temperature changes. In other words, we know that if the temperature goes down, then the volume's going to go down. So our temperature was at 95, it was cooled to zero, so our new volume had better be smaller than 1.55. And here we can see that that is the case.